Do you think black folks should receive reparations from the United States of America? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What did you do to deserve reparations? Your ancestors did. Should they have gotten it back then? Absolutely. Should they have gotten some land? Absolutely. Should they have gotten treated better and all this other stuff? Absolutely. You don't deserve anything. <laughs> hey, you? You don't deserve a damn thing. Because every time you get a bag, you get a check, you blow it. We was getting y'all dag on oh, checks. It's, it's and everybody was going to the stores buying every pair of shoes. Them chicks was them checks was gone in like two days, bro. <laughs> yeah. Two and days. I, <laughs> and you're probably getting the comments. I'm sure you're probably getting it. It's like this guy's not even from America. He grew up in Germany. <laughs> he's you know, he's privileged and all this other stuff. No, you don't know my life. I could tell you right now, I was stuck in that same perpetual mindset. When I was in my early 20s, eventually I had to look myself in the mirror and be like, why am I a bum? Why is my credit bad? Why am I in this dead end job? Why didn't I go to college? Why didn't I do X, Y and Z? I had to look myself in the mirror and I had to realize, yo, I need to do something different. And I did something that was that made me feel very uncomfortable, which was join the military. I didn't want to join the military. That's, that was the last thing. I was a kid in school and high school was like the military i'm never going to join you guys are suckers for joining and what happened i end up joining why because i made a series of bad mistakes in my life that led me to only one out and that was join the military and when i got in there even then i was up for the first four years but eventually i had to look myself in the mirror and realize yo i need to get my together and i'm gonna use it as a stepping stone and i'm gonna better myself I went to college. I worked my ass off. A lot of people don't know this. I'm, this is the first time. Here's some breaking news for you. I never graduated high school. I never graduated high school. I dropped out in 11th grade. I have wow. I have three degrees now. Did I have to work wow. extra hard for that? Absolutely. I had to work extra hard. Was it uncomfortable? Absolutely. I got a bachelor's, two associates, and I'm working on another bachelor's in IT. I, I was going to do the master's, but I knew nothing about IT, so I'm just starting over. But you cannot sit there and say that that you don't have opportunities. I up, I got my together and I fixed it. My credit score is close to 800. I'm very blessed now because I had to work my ass off to get where I'm at after making a series of bad mistakes over and over and over. But eventually the excuses run out and then what? It was me. Bam. Wow. Those now, now that's how someone <laughs> sounds when they when they take accountability over themselves instead of blaming someone else to do the job for them. Mm -hmm. The reason why I didn't get this, uh, my my college degree is because um, the white man held me down and, and I've been living in the hood and, and I, I barely had anything to eat, but not having anything to eat. And my daughter will tell you this because she taught, um, she taught kindergarten in um, Southeast DC. The kids were hood as hell, man. I love me a hood kid, little badass <laughs> kid. I love me a badass kid, man. And they don't know how to do any of the stuff that she's trying to teach them. But was they wearing everything new? Everything they had on yeah. was the best shoes, the best shirts, the best pants. Like the stuff that they was rocking, their, their parents will come there looking rich. Like they they present themselves as rich because that's all that's important. But when it comes to what's really important, nah, they don't care. And when my daughter tried to report the fact that they didn't want to learn, they just disrupted um, disrupted class, punching kids in the face and all that other stuff. My daughter would get cussed out by the parents. My daughter would be threatened by the parents. They will literally say, my baby ain't do that. I'm going to come down there and whoop your ass and see if you say it in my face. All I'm trying to do is help your baby before your baby end up in jail or dead. Yep. And that's the problem. So you were able to look into the mirror and say, uh, bro, what the hell you doing, man? <laughs> really? What you doing? Like, we going to do this or what? And you said, yeah, let's go. And you did it. That's a true soldier right there, man. Much respect to you, man. Thank we'll you. Talk. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man.